That's my name. Hey everybody, this is Ryan Cardinal, the creator of Caius, A Story of Blood and Stone. What we got here are the books that I just got from Comic Impressions, a printer out in Florida, and that's why I went with the printing for the books for the Indiegogo campaign. So, just kind of want to show everybody the quality of the books uh, that got sent, and just kind of do a quick little review of everything. Kind of give like a little bit of a primer as to uh, what the backers are going to get. And yeah, so let's crack these open here. So this is how they sent me the books. Each book came in a bundle of five, that's plastic wrap. So this is the standard cover, this is just the black and white cover. Here are the sketch covers, same thing. Package of five front and back, and here is the uh, the limited color cover. Now for these, it was going to be a virgin cover, but it was driving me absolutely bonkers that I didn't have uh, a logo on it, so I, I did the logo just small down in the corner here. And it's a full wraparound cover, full color, and again, that came wrapped pack in five. So let's crack these open, let's start with the standard cover. Now. I'm starting to fulfill these, uh, so I just put like a little marker on here, just, you know, this is number 21 to 25, that way I don't lose track while I'm marking all of them. Uh, let's just crack these ones open. And now that the holiday season is over, uh, I'm getting to fulfill all the orders, which is really nice. So I'm just going through and signing all these right now. So we'll take a look here. I went with 80 pound gloss cover for the stock, stock cover. And that turned out really nice. And the interior, now because I wanted to be a black and white comic book and have that uh, manga feel to it, I went with a 50 pound uncoated page on the inside and yeah it turned out exactly how I wanted it to turn out. Uh, my big thing with this is I wanted it when you picked it up and turned the pages it felt like a, like an old school comic book and that's what I was really really going for and they they did a really good job of it. Uh, the printing turned out really really awesome. Uh, I believe this was done on their new uh, digital printer. Uh, not offset printing but their new digital printer does digital offset quality and like I said uh, everything turned out really, really dope. They did a, a really good quality check. Uh, they had some concerns on their part about some moray patterns, but I had to inform them those were on purpose on my part. I actually did did it like that, so uh, they were kind enough to be like, hey, we noticed something. Is, is this right? And I just had to reiterate, yeah, that's exactly how it's supposed to be. Uh, but if anybody that's out there who saw the first 16 pages that I had up on my Twitter or... If you signed up for the main list at www.kayascomic.com, uh, this is kind of the first time that you're actually seeing it with the half tones, um, because what I had available for people to read was just the line art. And yeah, like I said, everything turned out really, really awesome. Uh, page quality is really good. For a 50 pound uncoated stock, I really, really like the way that this turned out, uh, which is super dope. I'm probably going to be going with that moving forward with the book. Yeah. So those turned out really great. Uh, again, that's Comic Impressions out in Florida. And I think that their, their main thing is just like uh, printing and direct mail marketing. And they just kind of got into the comic book business in the past... I think like year and a half. So I'm just going to crack open the sketch covers here. Have a quick look at this. Sketch cover at the bottom. The logo is from the back. And I I think I went with an 80 pound uncoated on this. So this will be for all the backers that did that. And I only have a hundred of these available. Uh, I have 350 of the standard cover and 100 of the color cover. 
So when issue two comes out in 2020, there is going to be an option where you can get both issues one and issue two in case you missed it. That way you can back the project, get both of the books and be up to date. And once these sell out, uh, I will do a variant cover limited to print run. But again, we'll see where this, this ends up. Uh, the whole goal is to have uh, just always limited print runs of these. And when these all get collected into the trade, that's the one that I want to be pushing really hard that everyone can get as many of. Uh, and yeah, once once these are done, there won't be single issues of number one, two, and three. It'll only be available in trade. Uh, so yeah, eight, went with the 80 pound on the inside and then just went directly into uh, comic cover stock on the inside. And again, it's, it's the uh, same format. So there are the sketch covers and we'll take a look at the color cover here. I'm just gonna put these off to the side over here. And yeah, here's the uh, color cover. They did a really good job. Color match looked really good uh, compared to the original file. And I'll leave a link in the, the description. So if you want to check their stuff out, feel free to go check them out. Uh, the contact name is Rich Boy. He's really, really awesome. Uh, super thorough, super informative. The, they know their stuff inside and out. I caught wind of them through the Comics Launch podcast. They apparently have been printing Scout Comics books for the, the past little bit. And... Uh, I check out some of their stuff as well and the print quality is really good and if you're interested and you want to get a sample pack from direct impressions or, or comic impressions just give them an email and they will send you out a sample pack of the work that they've done and that really helped push it over the edge for me uh, to go with them so yep yeah, there is the color cover and I think I went same thing with the 80 pound gloss cover on that full wrap around go so, yeah and again uh, this one was for everyone that backed on the secret tier and the only way that you could get into the secret tier was signing up to the mailing list so uh, there's only a hundred available of these and when issue two comes out in 2020 I'll be doing the same thing uh, there's gonna be a limited edition hundred color cover copies and then that'll be it but uh all in all super impressed with the quality of uh, the work really impressed with the turnaround that's the other thing they had a really really fast turnaround from getting the print files and getting the uh the actual printing in the book shipped out to me which is really awesome uh because i was running a little bit late on the printing uh, a little bit month about a month behind on my shipping but this is my first comic book my first time at indiegogo all that stuff so this is all just a learning experience for me and I'm gonna uh, streamline it coming up here for 2020. We've got big plans coming up. Uh, I'm actually gonna be heading back into the world of tattooing to kind of help uh, fund the project of this and the coloring book uh, project coming up for 2020. So I'll make a video explaining about that stuff, but for right now, this video is just about this. And yeah, if anybody's interested, go check out Comic Impressions. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you wanna follow me, follow me at uh, www.kiascomic.com get onto the mailing list there that way you can find out what's going on for the, the all the projects that I have going up from tattooing the coloring book as well as Kaius issue 2 uh, you can also follow me on all my social media Twitter Instagram Facebook everywhere I am the Ryan Cardinal P-H-E-R-Y-A-N Cardinal just like the bird and yeah that's it and if anybody has any question or anything feel free to get a hold of me I'll get back to you as soon as I can, but until next time, that's it. That's a quick little review. Hope you liked what you saw, and yeah, that's it. Peace out. Bye.